Good question. First, let's talk about um, sex differences, and then let's talk about the concept of resilience and what happens in the brain. Um, if we talk about sex hormones and sex differences, we know that early in uh, development in the human, it's in mid-gestation, and it also continues around early after birth, there is the production of testosterone in, in, by the testes that causes what we call sexual differentiation of the brain. Certain brain structures from the hypothalamus to parts of the cerebral cortex and probably a lot of other uh, parts of the brain uh, are subtly changed by the testosterone and also by uh, genetic factors from the Y chromosome. Um, so that the male brain develops in a somewhat different way from the female brain. And at each stage, the male and female are, of course, boys and girls, babies are interacting with their environment and, and processing things in somewhat different ways. So the combination of experience and these biases by the genetic and hormonal factors leads these brains to be somewhat different and to prioritize things, if you will, in different ways. The second part is that the adult brain instead of just having uh, the hypothalamus being the area that controls reproduction and is sensitive to sex hormones, the entire brain is to some extent responsive to sex hormones. And the reason for that is that there are receptors for steroid hormones that are found not just in the cell nucleus where they regulate gene expression, but they're found in other parts of cells, in, in the synapses, in the dendrites, in glial cells. In, they, they regulate not only genomic, genetic regulation of genes, but they also regulate second messenger systems, very much like neurotransmitters. We didn't know about these receptors until we began to use high resolution techniques, electron microscopy, to look inside cells with antibodies for these receptors. And now we realize that, that the entire brain responds to all classes of steroid hormones, particularly the sex hormones. And in each case, whether it's cerebellum or, or the movement control areas of the brain or the spinal cord or the hippocampus and memory or the amygdala and fear, uh, there are or, or areas in the brain stem involved in pain, each of these areas responds to these sex hormones. So if we put together what happens early in life uh, in addition to the experiences that people have, being good, a good supportive family life or uh, a, a, a chaotic uh, home life, plus these subtle sex differences, plus then the actions of circulating hormones in adult life, you have, you have many different possibilities for producing different outcomes. And vulnerabilities, for example, Women are more vulnerable to anxiety and depressive disorders, but males are much more vulnerable to substance abuse and antisocial behavior. You could argue that, 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 the, that these are just simply different ways that the male and female on the average sort of acts out or projects their response to, say, a, a, a toxic stress. Uh, and, and, and that what it is not so much vulnerability uh, and uh, it, it, but a different way a different strategy for dealing with these conditions 